What's up with y'all? I'm back with another video. Human sleeves. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. gather around I can let you know what we do here in full details. So here at Psychosec we've been able to achieve true immortality by taking your human consciousness and storing it on a device called a portable stack. It's implanted in the base of your neck and it collects and stores everything that makes you you. Every memory, every emotion, every sensation, everything you've ever experienced gets stored on this little device. You can see it here on the screen that's about to come up. You guys just follow me. All the information is stored on this device and can be digitally transferred from one sleeve that you currently occupy and to the sleeve of your choosing. Sleeves are basically human bodies we grow in our labs. They're organically real. Bones, tissue, organs, everything. These are the best bodies you'll ever have. Period. Nothing can hurt these bodies. But they are human. So if something were to happen to them, you can always change them out for a new one. That's why it says it's Immortality becomes non-existent because you can be 50 in one body and change to your next body. You're as young as you feel. If you come this way, David's is going to show you some 2018 models that you can choose from. Well, okay, you can choose which sleeve you desire. Now you can either have the sleeve that you have right now, or we have a selection of wonderful sleeves that we have made through Psychosec, fully genuine and organic produce. Now, if you'd like to be taller, shorter, skinnier like to have better vision, maybe strength in your body, you have the choice to choose a man or a woman's sleeve. Now if your sleeve becomes damaged or too old for your liking, simply remove from the cortical stack your DHF, your consciousness, to another newer sleeve. Y'all hear that? Child, think of that. I mean immortality and what we know it to mean you ain't just oh let's call it immortality okay what's the definition of this oh you live forever and just know this isn't discovered and found by any human all he is is rediscovering things that already exist within the the infinite domain the akashic records the universal library i wouldn't say this is like but like the halls of a mentee the process you go under the what was I forget, what was his name just not he transferred his consciousness to another body and put his body in some kind of chamber that he'll let one and in a way I guess rewind the time back on it like where this one get back to his prime and peak why he and another clone like vessel this I, I'm assuming the same exact so they cloned his body and then he would just sw switch over so it's like you just rediscovering things you never really th no idea is truly original um that can get sticky like that plastic bag that was sticking to that skin in that in the beginning of the video but let me know if you would do this me personally some people may be like are oh, you playing god or you that's some devil demonic thing uh no Whatever you believe God to be, it gave you domain over everything. So if you want to live forever, you was supposed to. And isn't it entities that lived and ruled civilizations for 23,000 years and shit like that? Like, that was living that long? And, and it's like they got some kind of blockage or something that's in your DNA, some kind of thing. But they going out their way to make sleeves. So obviously, they can't find it and how to correct it and take that. What would I call it? It's, it's like a blocker. It's like a limiter. So it is shortening your life expectancy. And wasn't it entities in these books that lived for thousands of years? So, yeah, I wouldn't say that this demonic. It can be used for demonic reasons. Somebody can hold your memories against you. If you have some whatever thoughts, uh, you wanted to, uh, what's, 
if you ever had any any secrets or whatever you wanted to die with they can upload they can have it all this it can get it can get sticky me personally what i probably not i'm not attached to life like that i'm not attached to life like that only way i can i would do it is if i have to have a clone of my exact how i look not to say your sleeves isn't good but ain't no, nothing fucking with me i gotta have a exact clone and if anything can go in there and tinker with and make and take certain things that i don't want and make it more advanced or whatever but now nah, i gotta have my same vessel you got me fucked up i'm not gonna put on no fortnite skin but that's crazy this was it's probably older than this but this video was uploaded six years ago and i think it they came out with this even further back than that so imagine what they can do now what about the philosopher stone achieving immortality that way like as far as me putting a chip in the back of my head or my hand that somebody at some headquarters control some neural link shit nah but it can be used for some good though like somebody that's paralyzed they will not be paralyzed anymore but still though it all reverts back to the the person behind the scenes and what they want to do they all connected to the government. And the government is the worst, evil, most corrupt, pedophile, elite, priest, molesting, insane. I ain't even got words for them. I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> now, I know I'm very worried here, but that's it for this video. Let me know if you would get a human sleeve. Again, I'm not that attached to life. I don't, I don't want to go, I feel like. Not to say God's creation is flawed, but it's flawed. Some people may say I'm human or have God as well. But I can see errors and things that could be better within this existence. Call life here on earth, I could. I don't like that you can have your will imposed on. You can be you can be innocent. And they can get a thousand Autobots, a thousand bots in uniform that's stupid as fuck to grab you and put you in a gulag. I don't like that about Earth. I don't like that how kids can get trafficked every 30 to 40 seconds and more than 800,000 go missing annually. And females get snatched, took. If she ain't on drugs, they get her hooked on some drugs, get her exploited and fucked in all different kind of submissive animations about all different kind of archetypes of sick, twisted, fetishist, necrophilia, bestiality, little yarmulke hat wearing motherfuckers. And then after that, when she on a verge or she die, just get that adrenochrome. Oh, these organs steal some good. Let's encrypt the IP and sell it on the dark web. It's so much money they can make off of you. Take it a step further. If you neuromelanated at that, drain your body of that and make what? Melanoma peels or suntan lotion for their ass? Like, that's one thing that's very flawed about Earth is that you can just be a, a figure and it could be a bunch of bots that agree with you and you lead them minions and they'll do whatever you want them to do. They'll bring the Judas Cradle out, the Brazen Bull or what have you and they'll do it not aware just really bought it out i don't like that about earth when motherfuckers can really just impose they will on you like no matter how tough or strong you is they get enough of them motherfuckers on you pneumonia i, I can't stand it like we can we we creative like we you got we got animes out and it's kids that can protect themselves or something how we think of that and make animations and cartoons and little worlds about this kind of thing but life ain't like that and this is better than what actually what life provides so how we i look at shit like that i don't like that about i don't like that about life like i do not like that shit at all like that's one of my biggest problems with life you can be innocent doing your best telling the truth all of them always get killed from a malcolm x so then you leave all the dumbasses and push them in the front to the dumbasses keep them distracted with cheap entertainment so they'll never revolt i hate that shit about life take it a step further it's a small demographic of motherfuckers that's working in cahoots with each other 13 families take it a step further probably even some aliens or draconians and they know all the cheat codes and all that and yeah the cheat codes to life and it's very few chosen ones out here or if it is more than what we see they spread it out and then it's a bunch of dumb motherfuckers in between, so it's hard to find or have an actual brotherhood that's on the same accord and actually try to combat this shit. Like, I just feel like this shit be stupid as fuck sometimes. Like, y'all ain't some of y'all ain't gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. So. 
I'm going to wrap it up here, man. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. You end up twitching, you're going to need one of these sleeves. I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out.